filled with uh, a very carefully curated exhibit of some of my favorite toys that show Star Wars through the years. Star Wars was really the first movie that, that was merchandised successfully. There wasn't any home video back then, so we had to wait like eight months for our action figures. But once those came, before home video, you could take home the figures, you could recreate scenes from the movie. That sort of DNA has remained with a lot of kids who have grown up to become collectors and have passed that excitement on down to, to their kids. One of the really cool things is seeing how um, technology is being used, seeing the Sphero, the BB-8 version that's controlled by an app, and that's a lot of fun to me. And, now we're going to have a Star Wars movie, even though it's not a trilogy movie, uh, every single year. And so I think the challenge is to keep that excitement up without oversaturating the market for merchandise, without dulling fans' excitement. And so, you know, that's something they're very aware of, I'm sure. What I always say to collectors is, don't panic and buy what you love, buy what really appeals to you. Those, those are the things that I look for that's like this.